Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we are going to talk about the 2022 Winter Olympics. So the Olympics this year, um, the Winter Olympics, um, have been very controversial um, from the country hosting it to the issues with dual citizenship and who's loyal to what country and to a doping scandal. But let's just start with the country that's hosting the Olympics this year. It's China and it's the Winter Olympics is being held in the city of Beijing. Um, this is a big deal to China because um, this city is the first ever city to host the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. However, um, other countries, particularly in the West, have been um, politically boycotting it due to China's um, censorship, human rights abuse, and particularly to their Muslim minority population and uh, their attempt to spread more communist rule to Taiwan and Hong Kong. Um, so the U.S. and several other countries are doing a diplomatic boycott of the Winter Olympic Games, meaning they'll send athletes to uh, compete, but they're not sending any government officials over there. <laughs> now, um, with the host country out of the way, there's uh, three more big controversies that have come up um, during these games. Um, in particular, they have to do with three athletes. So two of them, two of the athletes, two out of the three athletes are have dual citizenship with China and America, but people have been reporting China doesn't have dual citizenship. But anyway, both of these girls were born in California, but they decided to compete for China. <clears throat> so, um, the one girl's name is Eileen Gu, and the second one is Zhu Yi. Uh, we'll talk about the last one a little bit later on in the video. Um, Eileen Gu, who was born in California, um, she went to China for the summer and um, she has decided to um, represent China in the Winter Olympic Games. She says her reasoning is she wants to make the sport more popular um, in China and to inspire girls to get into um, skiing. Um, Eileen Gu has won three medals for China, um, two gold and one silver. And the Chinese people have really been praising her for representing them and for her speaking fluently in Chinese. However, um, Eileen Gu has been ridiculed and criticized um, by American citizens and by public officials. People saying that if you were trained in the Olympic Games um, in America, if America trained you and you were born here, then you should represent America. <laughs> Uh, when Eileen Gu was questioned about her um, citizenship and where her loyalties lies, she simply states that when she's in America, she's American. When she's in China, she's Chinese. <clears throat> um, moving on to the um, next girl, Zhu Yi, um, she has not been has she has not received as much favor from the Chinese government as Eileen Gu has. So um, let me elaborate. <clears throat> so Zhu Yi was criticized to for um, representing China instead of America because she was born in America. <clears throat> but the Chinese have not been too kind to her um, as well, um, mainly due to her performance, her falling twice in her ice skating routine and in another event, she crashed, in, she crashed into a wall. She has been even criticized for not speaking Chinese fluently. <clears throat> um, so you see one girl has, when one girl who represents China, it's really worked out well for her. The other one, not really so much. <clears throat> now, um, this last, last athlete has been the most controversial. Um, in this Winter Olympics, and it's the ice skater Camila Valiva. 
I'm sorry if I mispronounce that name. Um, the story around her is a huge deal because um, she was um, caught using an illegal enhancing performance drug and it was caught on her drug test. Now the thing was that it was caught on December 25th but it wasn't um, reported until the day after her for her first event <clears throat> so um, the court of arbitration um, they made a decision that she would be allowed to compete um, because she's a minor and therefore she is falls under this clause as a protected person um, so she's treated differently under the rules but they put in some conditions that say if she gets in the top three um, in her events there will be like no medal in her last event she placed fourth um, with her two teammates placed first and second uh, and Japan got um, third place <clears throat> even though um, uh, Olympic officials have decided to postpone um, the ceremonies um, if um, Valiva um, got in the top three. Um, some former um, ice skaters, um, U.S. and some other ones um, still spoke out saying that basically it isn't enough. She should be disqualified. And those are like the rules. Like if you get caught in, if you caught, if you get caught with an illegal substance in your system during a drug test, you are disqualified. And some people are angry and frustrated because they are thinking that, oh well, this is Russia cheating again. And um, they have a very good point. Russia right now. Um, they're competing in the Olympics, but um, they're not like really represented. It, 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 it's tough and it goes into um, people's frustration with it. Um, Russia right now is competing under the Russian Olympic Committee, and that's because Russia has been caught um, cheating in the last two Olympics. So in Sochi, and in the Rio games, so they've been banned from competing in any Olympics. Um, well, that's not quite right. Right, They've been banned from being represented at any Olympics. Their athletes can still compete, but they're under the Russia Russian Olympic Committee, where their flags and their anthem are not showed or played um, during any of the Olympic games. <clears throat> Russian athletes can't wear their uniform, can't wear a Russian uniform um, during the games as well. Um, but this goes into uh, people's frustration and ir irritation that Russia cheats and like they get away with it. Um, they get over on the rules. Um, everyone is playing fair, but they're not. And so, um, Camila Villiva uh, getting caught cheating with an enhancing performance drug um, just <clears throat> really re-emphasizes that narrative that all oh, Russia cheats and the rules don't apply to them. And some people have cried out for Russia just to be completely banned from even participating in the in future Olympic Games. Uh, so uh, that's the story. This is why um, the Olympic Games have been so controversial this year. Um, scandal after scandal, issue after issue. It's been a very controversial Winter Olympic Games. Uh, so that's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you have a great day.